Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I will be giving an overview of my first impressions of the new second generation Anton Par Easy Dens. The Easy Dens is a digital density meter made for home brewers that will give you readings of gravity levels from small samples of beer or wort. It is not just useful with beer, it can be used with other alcoholic beverages, but this video will just focus on beer. But first you may be wondering who are Anton Par, so let's deal with that right away. Beer industry professionals and those that work in other professional environments where high-end instruments are called for are usually going to be very familiar with Anton Parr, but they may not be so well known to home brewers, so here is some quick information so that you are up to speed. Anton Parr have a long history in density reporting for various industries that goes back to 1967 with the very first digital density meter. Since then the company has gone from strength to strength with many accolades including that in 1981 they developed the first handheld density meter and by 1988 they had developed the technology to measure density to an accuracy of 5 digits. Anton Parr are a company with facilities that can be found in many European countries. In 2020 they had a revenue of 392 million euros. So as you now know we are not talking about a small business here or one with a lack of history in the field. The Easy Dens that I'm looking at in this video is the second version of this device. Here are the two versions on screen side by side with the newer version shown on the right. You will note that this is a totally new design which is smaller and also much more lightweight. There is a new generation Bluetooth chip which means a faster connection speed. The new version also enjoys faster measurement speed as well as a higher level of accuracy. There is also a high level of dust and spray water protection by standard which is compliant to IP65. Let's look at those specifications now. This second generation of the Easy Dens has some very impressive specifications. From a 2ml sample of beer or wort it can read specific gravity from 0.7 to 1.2 with an accuracy of 0.001. It can also measure temperature in the range of between 5 to 30 degrees Celsius with an accuracy of 0.2 degrees Celsius. In terms of imperial measurements, this is between 41 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit with an accuracy of 0.4 Fahrenheit. It is capable of measuring gravity at much higher temperatures though, more on this later. So as you must have gathered already, this is far from a toy and makes your regular hydrometers seem inaccurate and wasteful in comparison. Let's now move on to a quick unboxing so you can see further what is on offer here before we move on to its use. The Easy Dens is supplied within this box. On the front here you can see the product itself and also the fact that it is supported by smart apps for both Apple and Android devices. More on this later. On the back of the box you are given a brief outline of the unit's capabilities as well as the benefits that it provides. Once you enter the box you will find this safety guide first which is clearly warning you about the apparent dangers of handling hot liquids through to batteries. Next you will find this quick guide booklet which mostly with photos walks you through what you will need, how to set everything up, measure samples and then clean. It's pretty simple stuff. I have to say that I really like the way this has been handled, it makes this device accessible to anyone. Here is the Yeezy Den's main unit. This is clearly very well made and weighs in at 190 grams or 0.42 pounds. At the front here you can see a glass tubing through the small window, which is where your samples are housed. This is known as the measuring cell. Because this is made of glass it is easy to clean, which is an important point for a product like this. I'll talk a bit more about this later. At the base of the Easy Dens are four mini stands and inside these are crosshead screws. Opening these reveals the battery compartment. This unit takes two AA batteries which can be regular, like those supplied with the unit ready installed or rechargeables. You cannot recharge batteries within the unit itself but two batteries should last you long enough to be not to be concerned over this with estimates being at 40 hours of usable time which is probably going to last you at least a year on the basis that you are using this rather a lot. To switch this unit on and off for readings there is a power button at the rear which has a nice level of travel making it hard to switch this on or off by mistake. At the very top of the unit are two holes which are used for inserting samples and cleaning. Also supplied in the box is this tubing with a Luar adapter and a syringe, both of which are used during the sample process which I'll be running through shortly. 
When you first get this device, I strongly recommend that you obtain some distilled water. Its first job is in checking accuracy. Simply load up the syringe with the distilled water and add it into the top left hand side of the unit. The hosing supplied is for waste and goes on the right hand side as you can see here. To fill the measuring cell you only need 2 milliliters, and any excess will just go straight through the waste. Then after loading the free smartphone app turn the Easy Dens on and you are ready to take your first measurement. Then all going well with your distilled water you will then have a gravity of neutral which is also known as 1000. An important thing to note is that Anton Parr make it very clear that the Easy Den should never be used with regular tap water due to the lime scale content which will compromise the glass and readings over time. Let's now take a real sample and for the first example I've gone the hardest route. This is a raspberry wheat beer that has been taken directly from a keg and it is fully carbonated. So that the Easy Dens can read the gravity accurately this carbonation needs to be removed. Hence why I'm giving it a shake here. Now you might think that I'm actually adding carbonation here but actually the reverse is true. The bubbles that are forming on top are CO2 that was contained within the beer. Another revised method is to simply give your sample a good stir, in the same way that you would degas a wine during its creation process. Ideally by the end you should be looking at something like this. Even with a fully carbonated sample this did not take very long. Once you have loaded your sample into your syringe there is one more method you can use to remove any remaining CO2 as shown here now. Doing this 3-4 to four times will be very effective. Once you are happy with your sample it is time to load it into the measuring cell of your Easy Dens. Then using the Smart App you can take a quick measurement. This video footage is taken in real time and I do really like how fast this is. Shown here is the app setting section for beer when it comes to measurement. As you can see there are various options including degrees Plato if that's your thing. Another feature within the app that users should find useful is its ability to save measurements and create batches. This way you can follow a beer's progress from start to finish and have a permanent record of it. I say from start to finish because measurements can be taken during the brewing process too. Here I have taken a sample from my mash during a brew to see how things are going. The easy way is to collect a small amount of the mash liquor during the process into a container and then pour it through a coffee filter as you see me doing here. This is to ensure that there are no solids present that could block the Easy Dens measuring cell. Once you have collected enough of a sample you are then ready to take a reading as usual. Samples can be taken at any point of the brewing process just be sure they were below 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit before you add the sample. This is due to the plastics involved in the syringe and tubing. You will find that small samples cool down very quickly when removed and set aside. When you are between samples be sure to clean the measurement cell using distilled water. This is as simple as simply moving the water through the cell and at the end using the syringe to flush the water out and you are finished. My first impressions of the new Easy Dens are certainly very positive. I really do like the new design, it is certainly a very nice step up from the first version in terms of robustness and quality. The speed is also nicely improved in all important areas, not that the first version was slow as such. Accuracy at this level does certainly come at a price though and for those that felt that floating hydrometers like the tilt were expensive then this is probably going to be off their list straight away. However if you are looking for a high level of accuracy and a device that will offer this with a very small sample throughout the brewing and fermentation process then this is really very hard to beat in terms of what it has to offer. As I mentioned at the start this is not limited to beer and offers other features including alcohol readings for those that are able to distill and sugar readings for winemakers. So if you're also involved in distilling or winemaking then there is further value to be found here past beer. Furthermore I am very happy to inform my viewers that until September 30th 2021 Anton Parr are offering a David Heath homebrew 10% discount for the new Easy Dens sold on easydens.com. To obtain this discount simply enter Heath10 into the discount code box during ordering. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing.